great again the Guild Currency Shop is. Greetings and hello there, everyone. It's me, your Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good, and I'm here to talk about the Guild Shop. Make the Guild Shop great again. And how do you spend the energy and everything there? And I clicked on the wrong thing. Hey, miss clicking again. You guys know how this works. It's all the same every time. The Guild Shop is once again a great place to be for new players, old players, players everywhere, players and players all alike. A lot of things have happened in here. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the stuff that's in the Guild Shop now, uh, how it changed, what's good, what's, uh, well, what's good, and then I'll show you how I really think is the best way to spend this stuff, the best way to go about finding places to spend it. It's kind of difficult, but we'll, we'll talk. So... First, before we get into the, the hugeness of this shop, <laughs> I mean, they could have a separate shop for each one of these pieces of currency, but, or just do away with this, all the, do, why, why not, why, maybe they just do away with the guild tokens and make it all of this, this Mark 1 token, I don't know, I don't know, There's, there are some more steps that could happen, that's fine, but we still got the guild tokens there. And still for the guild tokens, you can buy Carbantes, you can buy a lot of gear, you can buy some characters. These are still available guild tokens, even though guild tokens are not going to fill up as often as they used to. We get we used to get them um, in the raids, and now we don't get them in the raids, so you're going to have less of these to go around. I'm gonna, actually, I need this here. Uh, you have less of these to go around, but you're still going to get them. You'll still be able to spend them. However, a big improvement just dropped today, and I'm going to put this out in the morning, so yesterday... A big improvement just dropped. Here's all the gear that's available. We'll talk about that in a minute. But look at this. Number one, numero uno. With the Mark II, with the Mark II tokens, raid tokens, you can now get Hermit Yoda, Imperial Pro Droid, Rebel Officer Leia Organa, Wapa, John, all the stuff that was only available in the, um, what do we call it? The Guild Event Store with the, the Mark the Mark I currency there is now also available in this shop with the Mark II currency. Now that's exciting. That is exciting for newer players who don't have all these characters. Now obviously you still can't unlock General Skywalker and Darth Malak until you do the event. And you also, by the way, you can't get extra shards. So I can't farm extra shards of Wampa. I have to use it on gear or other characters, right? But I believe that for new new players, I think you should farm Wampa and Hoda and Rolo and Pro Droid. Just get them out of the way. Eventually, Pro Droid is going to be needed for Galactic Legend. You know, it's going to happen. You might as well get it done, and then you can start farming the gear with that stuff. So that's a tremendous change for new players. It used to be these, that these were only available in the uh, the Guild Event Store, and you, they used to actually swap out Rolo and Imperial Pro Droid and swap out Hoda and Wampa. Now they're just all sitting right there for you to grab. So tremendous change makes these characters much more available for everybody. I love that change, but there's more. There's more, and you may have noticed this. We talked about it on my stream today. But we also have, in addition to all the gear that's available, I love all the gear that's available with that Mark I currency. Now, all of the characters that were available previously and, and currently are still available with guild tokens, but with the, with the, the, uh, the stepping back of the guild token um, availability, now we have all of these, all these characters down here are all available with the Mark I currency. You can get them all with Mark I currency. And by the way, you can get them all, and it's only 200 of that to get 10... Sh I mean, you might as well go and unlock all these characters now with this currency. I mean, I'm grabbing Jin Urso here. We're grabbing Scavenger Ray. So, for new players, man, and they're all here. Like, these guys were all on a rotating schedule previously where they would rotate in and out. You might only get them once a day, maybe only once every two days for some of these characters. Now they're all here with this Mark I currency, and I'm, and I'm wondering again... For a brand new player, do you farm all... Uh, maybe not all these guys. You can still pick and choose, but... But, yeah, I mean, this is tremendous, Don. This is gonna this is gonna speed up the farming of these characters by a tremendous amount. So, I applaud Capital Games. This is a great move. A great move for new players, mid-game players. It's just a great move across the board. You also, again, can't farm extra shards here. You'd have to go get gear with it. So, that's great. Now, let's talk about... 
a little bit of an elephant in the room. This shop is huge. This shop is gigantor. Do I really want to be scrolling all the way down through here every single time to see what I got to get down to the bottom and see, um, do I have any carbantes down here right now? I don't know. I don't know. Do I really want to scroll through this thing over and over and over again to see I need gold balls. Let's go buy 70 gold. I love it. It's a great, it's a great turnaround. 910 currency for 70 gold balls. That's great. I'll take it. But do I really want to be scrolling and scrolling and scrolling forever and ever to find that out? The answer is no, I don't. I don't want to be scrolling. So I really think that the best way to do this, I think it's going to be true for the characters too. You really don't want to be scrolling down for these characters a lot of time. It's kind of a pain on the rear. So I think what you should do is you should favorite these characters on your, on your, your roster, right? So if you want to go farm um, Dengar, you don't have him farmed. You know Dengar is going to be in every time. Make Dengar a favorite and then go farm him in the shop. You know, that's what you should do. Uh, I'm trying to think of who I don't have there. So if I want to farm um, Jawa Scavenger, let's, I think, I think Jawa Scavenger is in there, right? Let's go take a look here. Let's go to our Jawas and Jawa Scavenger. We want to find him. Um, find, is it Scavenger? Is it somebody? It's not Scavenger. It's one of these guys. Is it is it engineer? I think it's engineer. I don't know who it is. I think it's engineer. Where's Jawa engineer? There he is. Okay, so he's in there. I think I already purchased him. I'll purchase him here too. So if you want to find him, you just make them a favorite. Just make Jawa engineer a favorite if you want to be farming him in there, and then do it that way. Don't do it the other way. Don't don't like scroll. That shop is a pain in the butt to scroll through. Make them your favorite and do it that way. But here's part two of that. Here's part two of that. Instead of scrolling through the shop for gear, use it by the gear that's clearly low-hanging fruit for you. I need a bunch of these. I just bought a bunch of these, about 70 of those. You watch me do it. Are there more in there? I need more of these. I need gold balls like, like, they're, like they're going on a style. Here, there's 35 of them for 455. I'm going to capitalize on that. I mean, that's just a great... Basically, this new the new raid currency with the price of the gear... Anything going up to gear 12 is now just not going to be a challenge. Taking a character to gear 12 is not a big concern anymore. I don't have any of these gold balls in here right now. I think that they do cycle in and out of there. Um, they're a little more rare. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save some of that currency for these gold balls because I really need I, I need a bunch. If you look at my roster right now, I'm taking some. I took my whole CLS team to gear 12. I'm actually right now hoarding all my, my, relic, here, my relic stuff for something down the road. But I need gold balls here, gold balls there. Mando, I need something else in him. I need these, I don't know what you call them, Fabritech data pad prototypes. Right now, let's go see if I can get some of these out of the shop. I can, so this is what I'm saying, guys. Just make them, go to the characters that need the gear and farm it that way. It'll save you a bunch of time. Plus, you're not buying a bunch of stuff you may or may not need right now. Farm the stuff you need right now. But if I do one more thing, let's click on Padme here. And there we go. This, this. If I go look for Carbantes in there, I've only got 174 Carbantes. That's actually kind of low on my Carbanti haul. But there we go. So I can get 10 right now. That's not a lot. You can get. You can find a bunch more in there at times. So I would. You know what? I can go and spend this now. Now that I can spend that other currency. I mean, it, may, it just opens up all the currencies opened up in there now. But yeah, I really suggest that the way you should farm the gear and the gear in that shop is not by scrolling down and randomly grabbing it. Find out exactly what you need for your characters. Right now, let's see. How many of these do I have? I got 117. That's a pretty good number. Um, I got 135 of those. Uh, boy, well, I don't know. How, all right, I need some of these. So do I have any of these in the shop? The answer is going to be, okay, I've got some right now. So I can buy five for 335. I can buy 15 for 1,005. I'm, I'm in on both of those. I'm hoarding this gear and saving it up right now for possible future Galactic Legend. So that's how you do it, guys. If you want to farm the gear in the shop, it's great turnaround. The one piece of gear that I recommend that you never, ever touch in that shop is your Kyrotex. This is not a good exchange rate. It is not a good exchange rate. There it is. 2,000 Mark II currency for five Kyrotex. Don't do it. Do not do that. Look, at I can get eight of them for 560 of my Grand Arena currency. Or I can get five of them for... Not for Get 3. Don't do that either. That's not actually that... Oh, man, don't do it. You got other things to do with your Get 3. But my, uh, my Get 2, I can get five for 320. So it's a much better exchange for your your get currency, your other guild event currency, and for your grand arena currency. Don't buy Kyrotex, but all the other gear is a really good exchange rate in there. And that includes, if you look down here, I've got, I've got a Relic 7 Darth Vader. Okay, so let's say I want to take it into Relic 8. Well, if I go in there and I look, I need these uh, Zinbittles, 
I love that's that's one of the best names. Zinbiddle. I think it's the best gear name. And so I can get these Zinbiddles. I can get two for two fifty. I can get three for three seventy five. Uh, let's go and buy three of them. I need to get 20 anyway, right? I'm not taking Darth Vader to Relic 8 right now, by the way. But I got 20, so there, I'm done with that. If I look... Oh, you guys can't even see that. I gotta move. I gotta move to the top. Oh, no. You can't see it. There we go. Bleep. I got 20 of them now. You see that? See how that goes? So I got 20 of them. Let's go back down to the uh, bottom. Bleep. Okay, so... And then I gotta get these... Uh, these impulse detectors, I can buy them, and they're these. This is the place you want to be living with this, with these. And I, this, you're not gonna be able to get them in a lot of places, and they really hurt when you when you do get them. So that's where you want to be going with that. It's it's a tr otherwise. Look, I, if I'm gonna get them over here, I gotta spend this these pieces of gear, which really hurts. That hurts me a lot, generally speaking. So there you go, everybody. That's how you look at spending the currency in your shop. I'm not spending this because I want to save it. I I should have saved for another day. Want to get that new tie. Whatever, whatever it's called. Thai, Thai butter knife, Thai. Anyway, hey guys, that's how you, you spend the gear in the new guild currency shop. I love what they've done with the characters. I love that they've opened up all those characters to farming now. New players are just going to go ham farming Han Solo, General Kenobi, Treya. It's a whole new world right now. A whole new world. Who's excited for uh, Little Mermaid? Not me. Anyway. <laughs> Why do we keep ruining? Why do we keep they keep why does Disney keep ruining things that we love? Can somebody tell me why does Disney keep ruining things that we love? Anyway. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. I'm not buying into hardly the only live action Disney movie I saw was Beauty and the Beast, and that's because uh your pal and mine, Un McGregor, was in it. Other than that, I couldn't care less about any of these movies. Alright, um, yeah, there we go. I love the fact these characters are down here. I love the fact that the gear's down here. I just love, this is a tremendous shop now. I just wouldn't spend a lot of time doing what I'm doing right now. If you see the characters that are available, make them a favorite and farm them that way. But man, these these three that used to take you six to nine months as a new character, you'll have these guys in like a couple of months tops as a brand new player. Once you, once you get to raids in a guild, I mean, it's gonna be tremendous. And all these are the characters too. It may be a thing where you go and look at a... It's just great. It's great. It's tremendous. Good job, Capital Games. Way to go. That's all we got. That's everything in the Guild Currency Shop, everybody. Have a great day. Go spend that Guild Currency. Let me know how you're doing it. I'll talk to you later. And always remember, it needs to good.